So we're going to talk about showing for the praises of God. The wondrous and the wonderful things God has done for you in the midst of unbelievers, in the presence of the heathens. Show for his praises. Yes, you know that God is good. Yes, you know that his miracle, his goodness, everything is being seen by you. But this is the time for you to show it forth. Declare it forth to the unbelievers, to men and women that are perishing. Hallelujah. Amen. Declare it forth. Let them know. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. For it is a means of reaching out to people that God loves them. Hallelujah. Amen. That the kingdom of God Love them. He's been prepared for them. Hallelujah. He's a means to populate the kingdom of God. He's a means to populate the church. He's a means to evangelize. Let them know, listen to me, brothers and sisters. I'm not just only God, just but it's the hands of God upon me. You want to feel that hand? Come to the church and serve God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Constrain them. Persuade them until they follow you. Why? Because you are a living proof of what God is doing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to the book of First Peter, please. It's a amount of praise and times. First Peter chapter number two. I'm going to read verse nine and ten. Then we proceed from there. Hallelujah. You see, when our responsibility is being declared unto us and we are still waiting to be sent, is a proof of inability. Inability. I said every inability in our spirit will be dealt with this morning as a result of the word of God. Amen. Why? Because God has given us a responsibility. He has blessed us and he has given us the responsibility. Hallelujah. Amen. He has multiplied us and he has given us what? A responsibility. Hallelujah. Amen. He has come full of our destiny, our life, and he has given us what? A responsibility. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says, but ye are a choosing race. In other words, you are a choosing generation. Praise the Lord. Are we speaking together this morning? Oh, yes. I want us to preach this message together this morning. If you are blessed, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. That's it. The Bible says, for you and I are a choosing race. So God does not look at you based on your color. Hallelujah. Amen. God does not look at you based on your heart or based on your ethnic city or where you are from. But God look at you as a choosing race of God. A choosing generation. A generation in the hands of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. God is declaring to us this morning that you are a choosing race. A royal priesthood. Whether the devil likes it or not. This is whom you are in the sight of God. You may not be so in the sight of men and women, but let them wait until God finalize with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Then they will know who is a prince, who is a king, and who is a laborer. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Are you seeing there, somebody? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You are born to affect this country. You are born to affect your world. You are born to cause change. The word of God say a royal priesthood. A royal priesthood. Not just ordinary priesthood. The priesthood that dwell in the kingdom mm. of God. Mm. A royal one. A royalty you are in thee. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Where is the devil that can challenge the word of God in your life? No when you stand on your two feet and say, I am a choosing race of God. In the hands of God, my generation is choosing. I don't care to know what I'm facing. I don't care to know what is going on in my life. But I am choosing by God. He called you a royal priesthood. What a wonderful God we serve. So God is trying to give you a mentality to live by every second of your life. 
As you are walking through the street, come on, I am a royal priesthood. I am. Hallelujah. Amen. As you are walking on the street, hey, come on, I am a chosen race. I'm choosing. I don't care to know what is becoming or befalling your family, but I am a what? A choosing race. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God declare you a chosen generation. Amen. Who is that man that will say you are not chosen? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is the praise of God that means something in our life. It is the praise of God that is something in our life. The praise of men are hypocrites. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The praise of men are temporal. The praise of men will fade away. That is why I take the praise of men in my mouth. I don't swallow it and I spit it out. You take it, I spit it out. You know what? Because there's so many in this color today, they praise me. They're going to see me in a different color, or they're going to talk a different thing about me. They say to you, with you. It's only God that never changed. So that's why I say the praise of men, they are temporal. I don't swallow their praises. I put it in my mouth, I spit it out immediately. Why? Because men are bound to change. They are not their world. That's what God said to us that we must not put our trust, our hope in men. He said, Cause be ye that man, that woman that put his or her trust in the man. The reason why God said, Cause, he hasn't caused anybody. Why? Because if you put your trust in a man and a woman, they will disappoint you. When you are disappointed, then. The person is cursed. Can I be disappointed by men or by women? I remain you what? There's going to be a shift. There's going to be because of some kind of anger. You're going to walk against the precepts of God in your life. So God, I forehand told you that cause be ye that put this on a trust in a man and a woman. Why? Because men and women, they, they are not their 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So that is why when I come across a such a scripture like this, God said to me, For I am a choosing race, a royal priesthood, a dedicated and a dedication, a dedicated nation unto God. Now that what God has dedicated me, He betrothed me to Himself. I'm married to Him. He recognizes me. I don't care to know. Men receive me, women receive me. But all I want to pray is that God I bless you because you receive me. Because it is able to cause men and women to receive you. To bless you. You know your blessing is not in the hands of men or women. It's in the hands of God. That is why he boldly said, I am the rewarder of them that diligently seek me. He will cause men and women to come and bow down before you. He will make a way out of no way. No man can make a way out of no way for you. He's God. God cause men and women to make a way out of no way for you. Hallelujah. Amen. The nation is blessed today. It's because of us. And we are blessed by the nation. It's because of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, you see, when all these uh, are in your spirit, you grow in grace all the time. Your faith rises all the time. Hallelujah. You could be neglected and rejected and battered by one man and one woman. But that does not move your spirit. Why? Because what the word of God said, have body in your spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. It's going to ground in your spirit. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Bible says, a dedicated nation, God's own purchase, special people, that you may set forth his wonderful deed. So all this are done for you for a reason. All this you are choosing. You are choosing by God for a reason. You are called a dedicated nation of God's own people for a reason. Listen, you are called a royal priesthood for a reason. The reason is that you may go forth and shoot for his deed. Go forth and shoot for his deed. Go to the street and say, come on. Come on to me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Nisi has told me where you can see me now. I'm passing in the Lord. Come on to me, sing hallelujah. Karibo Shaka. 
For Jehovah Nisi has Karibo Shokoria, Karibo Sakaria, Kama. When you begin to declare this, men and women, they may talk bad of you for a moment, but wait until a minute. Is the dawning of a new day in somebody's life this morning? Amen. Say, Lord, amen to that. Amen. I think darkness is over. Amen. I think the light of God crawling into your life. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God, we oh, yes. Listen, it is not easy to be a Christian, but it is blessed once you are. Why? Because there are a lot of things in the finger of the unbelievers, of the hippies. They don't want to draw. They cherish so much. They love it so much. So that is why it is not easy. I dropped a lot of things and come out for God. For I, I, thank you, Jesus. You let go many things and come out of God. That's why you are blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. That's what God means by repent. He didn't say, come unto me. No, he said, repent. That's what John the Baptist said. Jesus Christ said, he said, repent. That's what Paul said. He said, change. Renew your mind. So the world doesn't want to renew their mind. So that is why they remain the world, Athens, all believers. But you that have, you are blessed. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. What a mighty God we serve. The Bible said to shoot for his wonderful deed and disclaim the virtue, the perfections of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Who called you out of sickness, who called you out of death, out of death, into his marvelous light. That's what God is saying. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what God is saying. This is the word of God. He said, I have called you out of total darkness. Listen, and the body that dwell in the dark. If the darkness is called darkness because it's full of evil. Why? Because it's dark. You cannot see. Hallelujah. Amen. God called you out of darkness, out of evil things. Out of evil generation, out of this world, the world is, 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 is ruled by the rulers of darkness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. What a mighty God we serve. He said that you should go forth and show forth his wonderful deed, his praises, and display his virtue, his power, his perfection. So I am a perfect being. Mm -hmm. So when I look at my left, I look at my right, I see the hands of God. Yes, I could be four foot tall, but that's not your concern. It's between me and God. He created me that way. Mm -hmm. I love the minister that was ministering yesterday. He described mercy. He said a very short man. When he handled the football, the whole feet rise up. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I don't care to know the scenario around you. When you stand your ground in the law, Saul described Goliath to David. He said, that man you want to fight. He said, he has been a man of war from his youth. He said, you are just only an adolescent. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But Saul, Saw what God did. You know, when somebody describes somebody like this, mm. that means big time on that rating. Oh, yes. That's why my grandfather used to say those days, you don't hold your head like this. I saw him here. Somebody can help me interpret that. I pray the Holy Spirit will interpret it for you. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. In other words, you don't say to head. I call these children, I say, where are you going? Where are you going to become a life? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 
he described David like this. That's supposed to intimidate David and put him off. But I have been a man of war from his youth. You are just only a child. What are you doing? This can be applied unto you. You stand your ground in the law. For I'm a royal, I'm a royal prison. For I'm a choosing race. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm a dedicated God's own person. You personalize it. Mm -hmm. I'm different. Hallelujah. Amen. When God said, talk about nation, he's talking to you. Because there's a nation inside you. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's a nation inside me. My generation will never end. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. He said that you may go forth and show for his praises. That is the point of our preaching. This morning, go forth and show his praises. Is it for you to keep quiet? Show for his praises. Is it for you to complain? Show for his praises. Declare his wonderful work in your life, his perfection in your life. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet, nothing missing. You want to you want to take journey. You undertook different, different kind of things, and God stood by you. Mm -hmm. Go forth and shoot for his praises. So that the unbeliever may see and be converted. Oh, there is hope there. Oh, she got hope. Oh, all right. Oh, she has the answer there. Oh, this is the source of her joy. Not by power, not by man. Say that the Lord God Almighty. The spirit of the most high God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And what the Bible says. The Bible, the word of God declared in verse 11, in verse 10. He said, Once you were not a people at all, but now you are not God's own people. What about you, God, we serve? So that's why I am I am put to I am put to shame when I see some people being being, being tormented. And allow the, 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 the deed of their past to trespass into their present and it cannot their future. I'm ashamed. That's not your package, child of God. That's not your heritage, child of God. So long your past is past and is behind you. So long your past is past and is behind you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. God said, before you were not a people, he's talking about your past. He said, lay your past behind you. Because I have called you a person. I have called you a people. I have called you a nation. Because your past will hinder you to praise God. Your past will hinder you to give thanks to God. Your past will hinder you to give testimony. Your past will even hinder you to serve God. I'm talking. Are you seeing there, somebody? Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. He said, once you were on pity, and now you are pity, and have received mercy. You know what's called mercy? Favor. Grace. To be what God has created, to be your original. The message of God is upon you to be your original. The one, the one God created. Not the one you come to this world and collaborated with the world and the Lord. The world collaborated you. They affiliated with you. They killed you and battered you. And everything is shattered and everything is scattered. No. God coupled everything together for you to be your original. He said once you were a people. You know that once you were being scattered, shattered, battered. You run the race of this world. You miss it. You died and you woke up. And he sustained you. He called you. He made you his own. He called you a people. I am a people in the sight of God. I am. I am. I am. If you don't say, this is whom you are, nobody will say thou art. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We are going to conclude with Second uh, Corinthians. Second Corinthians four fifteen, please. Go forth and shoot for the praise of him, that the world might be converted. It is our responsibility to convert the world. It is our responsibility to show for the wonderful deed of God in our life. Thank you, Jesus. You can do that in the marketplace. You can do it even in your school. You can do it in your place of work. You can do it in your offices. You can do it wherever you are. You can do it when you are out shopping and speaking to somebody. Amen. You can do it wherever you are. Brother, come and see what God is doing. Sister, come and see what God is doing in my life. He bought out my bread. He shook out my garlic. Just look at me. I'm a wonderful person. God has so blessed me. My children are so blessed. I wonder how the world will feel when we go out complaining. Am I speaking to somebody? Oh, yes. I wonder how the unbelievers will feel when we go out complaining. They will just begin to run. To run for you and run for your God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I love what Peter did. Having Peter healed the man at the beautiful gate. And they said, In what power did you do this? Is there him that you have rejected? In him gave me the power. And in his name, this man you are looking at, is made whole. All of them gave him ear to speak about the one who they rejected. I said, I wonder what the world, the heathens, the unbeliever, how they will react when we go out complaining outside there. God said, you are a royal priesthood. Amen. Declare the identity of God in your life, wherever you find yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 15, the word of God declares, it says, for all things are for your sake, that the abundant grace might through the times given of men redound to the glory of God. He said, all things are for your sake. What are all things that are your sake? Listen, listen. Anything that I will ever experience in life, anything that we ever experience in life, they happen for my sake. Not for my evil, for my good. When you continue to reason that way, good things come on you. And God proves himself so strong when devil throws something at you. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, Father, everything that I have everything that I will ever experience, so long I love you, they are for my good. The word of God says, is that for all of these things are taking place for your sake. For that the more grace, divine favor, and spiritual blessing extend to more and more people and multiply through the many, the more times given may increase and redound unto the glory of God. That the grace of God, that the, 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 the blessings of God, that all these things that God said is for your sake, that the holiness and the power of God will extend from you to others by your thanksgiving, by your praise. When you are walking on the street, walk as a child of God. Don't walk as a hide and seek person. For sin shall not have dominion over you. Amen. When you are talking, talk like a child of God. The man that owns the whole universe. The man that knows tomorrow. You know tomorrow because by a child of God, the spirit of God dwells in you. He revealed it unto your tomorrow, unto your spirit. He revealed your tomorrow unto your spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us rise on our feet.